Congratulations. Thank you. Story, the story's fit. It's still well. Your journey kind of sends you into Lincoln City, but you couldn't ask for a better, better start to your back at Lincoln City than that, could you? No, it kind of all, all fell into place tonight, didn't it? Uh, to come on for the pitch for a minute and then get nominated as number five penalty taker and then get the chance to score to take your club to Wembley. It's, it doesn't really uh, get a better feeling than that and a, an opportunity. So just thankful at the ball at the back of the net and, and this club is finally going to Wembley. And when you were getting com uh, ready to come onto the pitch, when Danny said to you, oh, you're going to be my fifth penalty taker, what, what's going through your mind? First, let's hope it gets that far so I do get the chance to take one because sometimes a fifth penalty taker doesn't always get to take one. So. I was uh, pleased to see the penalties go in before me and uh, just very grateful that that, that opportunity came and, and luckily I was there to start at home. And uh, when you're walking up and you see the goal, you know you know what the outcome is if you score. What, what was going through your mind there? To be honest, it's going to be sound really weird, but it was my daughter before I left the house today. She was going, I want to go to Wembley again. So in my head I was thinking I have to score this because I can't go home and tell her that we're not going to oh. Wembley. So that that was kind of like my main focus when I was going there. As well as hearing the noise of the fans singing your name before you even take the penalty, it kind of just felt it was a special moment and I'll, I'll always remember that. Yeah. And you're a Lincoln lad, so you know what it means to yeah. the people. Just how good is it to say Lincoln City going to play Wembley for the first time in their history? Just you saying them words sounds sounds fantastic. And during that pitch invasion that at the end, I, I know them, knew the majority of them. So it's, it's kind of a weird <laughs> sensation that I'll be taking the kids to school tomorrow and the parents are running on the pitch jumping there at the end. It's, uh, it's a strange scenario. But for me to be at home and, and get the opportunity to take all them loyal fans to Wembley is, is going to be a great day. And I'm, I'm not sure if you was in the squad, but Link, Lincoln were in the last two, the last day they played at Cardiff. How yep. do you think Cardiff and Wembley will compare? Cardiff was an unbelievable stadium there. I was there. I played in the semi-final, but uh, Keith Alexander made me 17th man for the final, so I wasn't happy about that. But, um, yeah, Cardiff was unbelievable, but it doesn't have the, the history of Wembley. Just the name Wembley, it just stands out. It, it's, it's the place, isn't it? It's where everyone wants to play football. And, and I've been lucky enough to play there before and, and win there, and I'd say winning at Wembley is probably the best feeling I've had in football. So if I can emulate that with Lincoln City, it'll be a good day. And it's an opportunity to win silverware. That's it, yeah. You can football winning trophies in football doesn't happen very often. When you're a kid, you you win them regularly, but to actually win silverware in the professional games, not many people actually do that. So, if we can get our hands on that trophy, we'll be very happy. Thanks very much, Lee. Uh, Lee, a lot of people give this competition stick uh, and criticism, but the atmosphere tonight, the scenes tonight, that makes it all worth it and worthwhile, doesn't it? Of course it does. Um, it's an opportunity to play at Wembley and, and how many players can finish their career and say that they've had the chance to play there. There's not many. And uh, thankfully this competition gives players that wouldn't normally get the opportunity to, to play on that pitch a chance. And, and we've taken it with both hands and for us we're extremely happy. But for the fans and the support, I'm sure they'll have a great day at Wembley too. And people say that sometimes matches like these can tire a team ahead of Friday's match against Cambridge. It comes quite quickly. But do you actually think the squad might be energised by what's happened this evening? Uh, physically they'll be tired, of course they will, because it's a game in a short space of time, but sometimes um, physical fitness isn't important as mental fitness and we'll take so much belief from that and so much positivity and confidence from this game tonight that, that it can only be good going into the Cambridge game. Yeah, From your previous experience uh, in football, do cup runs actually help a, a team in the league as well? Of course, winning football matches helps and if you're winning cup games you're, you're in that winning mentality and you're doing something right, so winning any football match breeds confidence going to the next one, so yeah, it does. Can you describe? Oh, sorry. No, go on, no. Can you describe the mood in the dressing room right now? Elation. Everyone's so excited. Like I said, it's an opportunity that, that doesn't come around very often. This club is, is 133 years. People are saying so. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you can imagine how excited the lads are in there and, and how bouncing the place is. Um, but that will be short lived because we've got a very important game at Cambridge on Friday. So everyone will celebrate tonight. But back to work tomorrow. And you mentioned your the promise you made to your little girl. Yeah. How old is she? She's five. She's five. So she wasn't here watching tonight. No, she? she's at school. She wasn't allowed to come tonight. Mummy, oh. mummy won't let her. But um, she remembers Wembley last time. We've got the medal and her shirt at home in a frame. So she remembers that day pretty well. And and she she, she wants to go to Wembley. So that's uh, to take her and my little son now to Wembley will be an unbelievable day for my family. And how old do you think it's going to feel when you get to tell her tomorrow morning mm. that? Oh, she'll be excited. She'll be extremely excited. She gets excited by London, so she'll, uh, she'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, how difficult is it to, from that sense of helplessness, basically, for 92 minutes as you sat watching on, to then having the weight of, of the penalty on your shoulders? 
to be honest, you don't, I didn't really have time to think about it. By the time you said you're going on, my feet were freezing cold, my hands were cold, didn't have time to think about it. So it's probably a good, a good thing in a way. But yeah, it's a, it's, like I said, football is all about taking opportunities and, and I'm grateful he gave me the opportunity to get on the pitch to take that fifth penalty and, and the rest is history now. Did you know that you were going to be fifth penalty taker before you went on? I didn't know I was going to be fifth. I knew the plan was to get me on because I'm, I'm quite comfortable taking penalties and uh, I think he wanted me to be one of his five. Um, I didn't know until the last minute that he was putting me at number five, but that, that was his choice and I'm more than happy to, to do whatever he wants. Thanks.